Welcome, Zoe, to your holistic meridians review. We're just going to be seeing how the body's feeling, what the body needs, what elements, what spirits, and we'll do some um, tracing of the meridian lines along the back as well to be able to track where we need to do our work. But in order to find those places, I need to use a few of my elements. I've been taking some notes as well. So if you hear some scribbles throughout, that's just me keeping track of everything we're learning here. I'll make my initial observations. Starting temperature-wise. Like along the back. And there's a cool spot right here. A cool spot in zone three. Feeling side to side to make sure it's either consistent or asymmetrical, and it is asymmetrical. It is warmer here in zone two. Cool spot here in that zone. Warm spot right here in zone one. Moving in the intercostal spaces. Feeling for any pushback. The energy. Here, got some firmness, so that's five B, five B, six B, firmness. I think I'm ready to start using some of my elements here. I'll be placing, I'll start with my stones, placing them on the back, doing some um, assessing there what its react, the reaction is, and then I'll make some notes and move on, okay? Mm -hmm. so let's start out with clear quartz. Move it to here. a negative effect on that zone three. So we'll move back over here. We'll see what effect it had on over here. You have that zone seven. That was also a negative. So let's move that. Let's move the back. Okay, let's try obsidian. 
ostensibly the opposite there. Good, yeah, that had neutral to positive. So not quite as strong as I would have liked to see, but better for sure. Still negative over here though, so still have obsidian. Negative on that zone seven. Let's try and find a different element. I'm gonna leave that one there. Try some bloodstone. positive effect. Basically it just tells me what meridians we need to stimulate. Okay, so bloodstone for zone seven. Okay, let's try those intercostals. Small pink quartz on this side, maggot on the side. These need an additional. some amethyst instead. Just feel me sweeping away, clearing any other energy out there so that these can do their job. Oh yeah, that's much better. So I'd say that's a positive reaction. For 5B and 6B. Excellent. Okay. Place a couple of tires eye. I'll try this one first there. Neutral. So. so one neutral. Hmm. Let's try the jade. It's tricky. So right along the base of the, the this head here and down the spine, this point um, genuine, generally relates back to the brain. 
neurological functioning. So definitely some issues there. Not, you know, nothing uh, medical necessarily, but something emotional. Okay, so someone also didn't like Jade. I think we need maybe something a little lighter. Some more heavier emotional things going on. So let's try a lemon stone. Just giving it a minute or two to get used to it. Much better. All right, so that is a positive reaction now for someone. So we have positive reactions in each zone that we identified as needing. So let's go ahead and trace some of these meridians. I want to focus on the ones that I found. So we had one for the lungs, we have one for the brain, we had the ones here by the spine. Um, this is the kidneys. These are just how I like to identify. There's really a point everywhere in our body, but these are the ones I find most effective for what I want to work on. So starting out here. And then well, let's connect it down to the intercostal space, kidneys, actually do this zone as well. The back is slightly tilted, so we're going to be drawing where on the back these things are linking and not just an even route because this shoulder is higher than this shoulder. It's fine, just relax. We all have slight asymmetry. It's to do with the length of our hips, um, to do with how we walk and position ourselves and also the spine. So completely normal, but we're just making a note of it. Then we'll keep these ones separate. So we have this zone here. I'm going to do a trio of them. Okay, let's see what else. I think I'll activate here. For more power, we'll just connect that there as well. Keeping those separate though. Just one point out here. Okay. And I basically just feel it's what I'm feeling with my own energy and expertise, so this is going to look different for every person. It's going to look different for every practitioner. Okay, let me put that there. About there. Is that okay on the back? Not too okay. heavy. Right. I'm going to grab some acupressure tools so we can do some work on the back. I'm just going to apply just a little bit of oil just so we don't scrape you.
start out with my silver and focusing here on zone seven, the lungs. Just tracing around, you might feel some bumpiness throughout, that's just the body resisting and we're going to try and create a smooth glide. Do the other one point. resistance in the same exact spot, lungs. Let's try switching these out. Oh, immediately better. Okay, great. I'm gonna work on Zone one, A, B, C, and down here, zone E. This is the brain. It actually feels all okay. It was so temperamental when we were testing it, but Lemon stone. It's really effective for it. So I'm add that there. Yeah, that's actually fine now. So I like to connect the spinal cords here to the brain. Here, it's a point I like to press for the stomach on this side, but on this side, it's the reproductive organs. Gold. And this is going to be a little bit of pressure, just like that. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Is that okay for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. If it feels super sensitive at any point, let me know because that could also be an issue with that point. Mm -hmm. Using the connections gently. Back 
activating them. Test these areas. I gently remove some of the markings. Then I want to give you a little bit of more deep tissue work. Moving over all these points that we stimulated, really working in all that good energy we've placed on the body. Remove a little bit more of this. The majority of it is going to just come off with your next shower, okay? But this way it doesn't get on any of your clothes.
evened out the temperature. Much looser here in 5B and 5A. Or 5B, 5C, is it? Yeah, 5B, 5B, 6B. like you to eat a banana and drink two glasses of room temperature water, okay, after this. Um, and that should help the system start to process some of the work we did today. Uh, feeling any discomfort at this time? Mm -mm. Okay, I'll let you get up at your leisure and uh, thank you for spending this time with me today.